Yo, what is up everybody? We're looking to make some fireworks fly on the 4th of July. We have a ton of packs in our dock. And you know how many we're opening? Every single one of them. We got 4th of July players, a campus legend, 17 large quick cells, and a couple of those um, ultimate legends in the corner right there. We're going to start off with the 4 AFC packs right here. I believe the prize is Brandon Marshall. I believe my game just froze. All right, guys, we're back, and apparently we have another Joe Flacco. Uh, apparently, they opened up my next pack after my game froze, and we didn't get to see what was in the next pack, but it was goddamn Joe Flacco again. Now, it's cool and all that Joe Flacco finally got an elite card after however long months have been out, but, you know, you didn't have to give me two of them. We're going to continue opening up the rest of these AFC packs, and then we'll probably open up the ultimate legends and then we'll hit up some large quick sales we're looking to have some fun but so far no boy no we got danny freaking amendola and two joe flacco's and you guys saw my binder i already have a danny amendola i don't need a quentin depth brandon marshall was the prize we didn't even sniff brandon marshall all right ultimate legend i'm not too sure what the best ultimate legend is probably whichever ones just came out john randall is one of the oldest ultimate legends aka probably not the best guy to pull so um, this isn't really, this isn't the fireworks I expected, Orlando Pace, we didn't even get a 99 overall out of the Ultimate Legend pack, you know how rare that is, that's pretty hard to do considering the amount that are out, so, um, Ultimate Legends have been our friend, or, Ultimate, large quick sells, these things have been our friends for the longest times, these are old, reliable pals, the large quick sells, we're going to them to provide a little bit of, um, hope, because, um, I promise fireworks, and, I've just been putting out duds. I've been putting out those lame fireworks that barely explode so far. And these 2.5 Ks are not helping. Come on, man. Um, 2K. That 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 works. We changed the amount, but like we just chopped off the five. Now 100 K. I can work with. I can work with this. I can work with 100 K. I like it. I like it. Now the um, those like Fourth of July set players. I don't really mind getting the crappy players out of those packs because. I want to do the 99 Lawyer Malloy set as we get 100,000. Why not? Just always so casually. But I'm trying to do the 99 overall Lawyer Malloy set. And you need a bunch of those um, 4th of July players to do it. You need 16 total, I believe. It doesn't matter which 16. You just get 16 of them. So, pulling crappy Joe Flacco's and Danny Amendola is not the end of the world. And we still got a bunch more of these large quick sells to go. 50k. Ring it in real quick. I like 50k. I like 150s. Or, uh, if we get 150, that's cool. I meant to say 100, but... um. So far, I think we have about 200k worth of large quick sells, which is okay. We're doing 17 of these. If we could get, like, 400k, that's a lot. That, that I'll take. We could somehow get to 400k, but I'm really down. That 300k has to be more of a realistic goal, I expect, with the way we're kind of, you know, snailing our way through these. But we did get a couple of big hitters, so we can't really, you know, say too much. 10k, I could definitely work with that. Large quick sells cost about, what, 25,000 coins to do, maybe? 30,000? So, anything above 20, 25,000 is a, um positive return on your investment which doesn't happen too often but it does happen uh we're gonna open up the nfc stars pack next and i'm saving that campus legend pack for last i really want to pull luke keekly out of one of those i really don't want to pull 95 overall out of these packs this is cringeworthy i'm sorry guys i can only work with what i'm given i've said that before and i'll say that again actually this ebron's actually pretty nice it's 95 speed 88 route running um strength's pretty good ebron's actually not a bad guy to have jordan matthews i have no idea why they gave him a card to be quite on us. still two of these to go and the campus legend pack a few more chances to get something good or 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 we can just continue pulling shit which is you know very fun to do but we could pull a 99 overall aaron Rodgers in our last pack no no at this rate if we don't pull bullware i'll be surprised all right this is just setting up End of the video for us to pull freaking Peter Bowler, the Boulder Beast, the goddamn Tyron Matthew. I think this is like the third worst card to pull. And we pulled him again. This is the third time we pulled Tyron Matthew. So that was